cruiser Moscow. Pushkin said, Moscow, what surge that sound can start? A long firing range, accuracy, survivability. These are the parameters that the Tier 10 Soviet cruiser is distinguished by. Heavy cruiser Moskva was never built and remained only on paper, so she literally came out of the pages of design documentation and crowned the Russian cruiser line in World of Warships. On first sight, the ship impresses with her size. It is almost a battleship. Despite possessing such bulky dimensions, she is still rather elegant and graceful. The turning circle radius of Moskva is just 760 meters, the smallest in her tier. Des Moines lags slightly behind. The American is significantly shorter, but her turning circle radius is 770 meters. However, this doesn't mean that this lady from the capital is able to flit like a hummingbird. The dimensions of the Soviet cruiser make her the favorite prey for the enemy, and it should be taken into account that anyone that sees her will land a shot. The cruiser will already be detected from a distance of 18 kilometers, so you should train your commander in concealment skills. Moskva has better armor when compared to her classmates, but a vulnerable citadel is a family curse of Soviet cruisers so you should treasure it and avoid all enemy attempts to hit the side of the ship. Although mistakes in navigation can be compensated by having the highest number of hit points among cruisers. The Soviet cruiser has worthy opponents at Tier 10. Rapid-firing Des Moines, Stealthy Zhao, and Hindenburg with the most dangerous armor-piercing shells. Moskva has an ace in the hole too. Having incredibly powerful and accurate 220mm guns with a long firing range, the cruiser is a force to be reckoned with. Only battleships possess more powerful guns for now. Enemies will be forced to swiftly maneuver and hide from Moskva. The Soviet cruiser is able to hit an enemy ship from a distance of about 20 kilometers and with more than just one shell. Heads up for Montana owners. The armor of your battleship will not protect her from Moskva's shells fired within 10 kilometers. As for cruisers, they are penetrated with armor-piercing shells even at the maximum range. Its value is 22 kilometers for Moskva. It should be noted that the main battery guns of a battleship like Moskva are to be used appropriately. If modifications are mounted on the guns and the commander masters artillery skills, Moskva may become a rapid-fire battleship. The most suitable tactic for the Soviet cruiser is a long-range gun duel. Obviously, the best characteristics of Moskva are revealed at a distance. However, the cruiser can distinguish herself in close combat as well, going head-to-head -head with an enemy. And if you notice a destroyer trying to hide in smoke, remain calm. Let it feel safe under its cozy blanket. Then switch the surveillance radar on and sink it. Even though this upgrade is quite limited, reloads in six minutes, it will protect you against covert attacks from destroyers that can send you to the port in one torpedo salvo. Since due to its size, Moskva is a perfect target for them. The cruiser also lacks torpedo armament so you will not have any backup weapons, and that keeps you focused. The risk is increased by the fact that Tier 10 aircraft carriers can attack you with up to 40 aircraft. So in order to survive an air raid, Moskva needs to have both her anti-aircraft armament upgraded and her commander skills improved, or stay close to allies. Moskva has a good anti-aircraft armament, but she won't withstand a targeted airstrike alone. Generally, Moskva is the best representative of her tech branch, in which the concept of a long-range gun cruiser has been implemented. A perfect blend of maneuverability and battleship firepower makes this warship unique. Let your allies get engaged in a hand-to-hand -hand fight while you take control of the long-range combat, destroying your enemies with accurate and powerful guns but remaining out of range.